What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I finally have FSD version 12.4.3 and we're gonna take it for a spin. So I've already done a few drives on it just to get a feel for what it's like. And so far, so good. It's been incredibly smooth. So I have really high expectations for this drive. Let's see how it actually does. We'll do a few stops along the way, but I've kind of driven far out to give us, you know, some dynamics in this drive. We can get some highway driving, some city driving. Did just want to say, feeling a little bit under the weather. So if my energy level is a little low, I'm trying, I'm fighting through it, but we're going to go get a smoothie and then maybe go get some mac and cheese for dinner to kind of soothe the throat a little bit. Let's go ahead and put our first destination in and hit the road. All right. And right away, it's pulling me right out of this parking spot and pulling me directly into a parking lot. Oh, a little cut through. Interesting. Okay. So we're in an alleyway right now behind some houses. We're at a little intersection here. So far, so good. But yeah, this GoPro might be a little bumpy. Hopefully not too much. So again, my big three things that I was having issues with in past versions of FSD, the one I had was 12.3.6, and this is 12.4.3. So I was having issues with it kind of swerving between lanes and not being too decisive and just kind of picking a lane and going, especially into turning lanes. That was a big issue. And unprotected left turns, it taking way too long. It doing this little stuttering thing when it was at a stop and then taking too long to get out of a merging lane. Those were my big issues so far. And again, I've done a couple drives and I've had nothing but positive interactions so far with all of those things. So we'll see on this drive how it does. But those are my big ones that were really kind of bothering me. Unprotected left turns were really bad also. And I've done a couple of those flawlessly. But it, we're getting everything here. This has taken me down a real windy road in the back of some neighborhoods. We got some uneven pavement here. We got some hills and some kind of closed off areas here. This is dicey. What are we going into someone's driveway? What is this? Just letting it do its thing, guys. This is a really interesting situation. If we had a car on the other end, I don't know what we would do. Looks like we're in someone's driveway, but we are just down this little like I don't even know, some little road. But this is going to be a tough, tough turn here. But this is dicey. This is great, though. This <laughs> is great for content. Not as fun for me, but it's handling it perfectly, as I'd expect. A little abrupt braking there, but... Yeah, you can go. Nice. Handled that just fine. And again, the biggest difference between 12.4.3 is that it's now using the cabin camera to watch you. So in all of my drives, I've been completely hands-free. Now, I was basically hands-free on 12.3.6, but you just have to reach up and touch the scroll wheel every once in a while. No longer is that the case. Totally hands-free. Keep your hands on your knees, whatever the case may be, and you're good to go as long as you are paying attention. If you look away for any amount of time, it's going to beep at you, say, please be attentive to the road. And uh, if you keep ignoring it long enough, it will disengage. So just keep that in mind. You'll get a strike. I have not had that issue so far. All right, we got a left turn here. We're going to head to the highway. So a little bit of that stutter I was talking about, but I think we weren't at a full stop. He was engaging the motors to kind of get ready to turn. No hesitation there at all on the turn. As soon as it was clear, it went which is all perfect, that's what you'd expect. I have noticed a tiny bit of sensitivity when there's oncoming cars. Even if you're in your own lane and they're in their own lane, when they're coming at you, the car tends to slow down a little bit. Nothing drastic or nothing dangerous, but it's just like, I don't know what you're gonna do kind of thing, which is silly because they have their own lane, we have our own lane. And just for clarity, we are on the assertive driving profile and we have the speed set to like auto max or whatever they call it. Up here will be a good test of whether or not it stays too long in the merging lane. This merging lane is really short, so it doesn't really have that choice, but we'll see. So it doesn't like if you mess with the AC controls. It likes you to be watching the whole time, which is fine. Makes sense for now. All right, getting into the turn lane here. 
no traffic oncoming, so we should just kind of pull right through. Yep, nice, good stuff. We are on the highway merge now. I'm watching the merging lane here. Yep, yeah, I mean, that was completely natural to me. Now it's switched over to, you know, the V11 highway stack, so you lose the max speed. Now it's completely custom, whatever I set it to. We'll just do 10 over. But apparently in 12.5, we are getting the ability to go in reverse, maybe uh, banish and smart summon, maybe Cybertruck FSD, maybe, we'll see. I'll definitely be making video if we get that. And then also the highway stack and city stack are supposed to be merging. So hopefully we'll be on V12 for the highway as well. I have seen online that a lot of people haven't been getting 12.4.3, which it took me about a month between versions. Actually, no, it was a month between updates. I don't know how long it's been since I got 12.3.6. It was a while. They really do need to do something about the standardization of the rollouts. I get why they do it the way they do. You want to stagger it just in case any big bugs pop up, but it sucks that some people can have it for almost a month before somebody else. That seems off. We are going to be merging onto 71 here in just a sec. I think it'll keep me in the same lane because there's a merge lane. All right, so we're coming up here and merging. There is a road close sign, so hopefully it doesn't see that and think anything, but nope, just went right through good because it was in the median. I don't really know how much has changed. Like the highway stack is the same. So I don't think anything, but it just seems so smooth recently. And even on 12.3.6, like outside of some weird little things like that, but I think that's adjusting for speed. Like it's been really smooth, especially this version. I mean, gliding through turns. It did this maneuver yesterday when I was trying to film, took a left turn. There was a car kind of in the far right lane. It just swooped around him, swooped back, and just merged up onto the highway. I mean, it was flawless, exactly how I would drive. No weird stuttering, didn't get confused with the car kind of lingering in the right side. It just went right around him seamlessly. It was beautiful, truly. And like this car is like basically just driving in the middle of the road. So that's cool. But we had that happen when we picked up my dad's cyber truck on the way back. Dude was, guess didn't like Tesla, I was driving dead center. Me on one side, my dad's cyber truck on the other side, and he was driving dead center. Oh no, this chick's just on her phone. Yeah, she's just on her phone. Like this. Awesome. Got a baby in the back seat too. Awesome. Love it. I think I've got minimal lane changes on, but it's just changing for this truck. All right, we need to get over here, which it's doing. It does have a car kind of approaching from the right, but I think it's going to stay in this lane because we do have a uh, ramp lane here coming up. Yeah, looks like that's what it's doing. Again, outside of adjusting the speed a few times, this has been totally hands-free. Which I actually made a video comparing Super Cruise and FSD. If you guys want to watch that, I'll have it linked down below. That was like a true hands-free system at the time, and FSD wasn't, but now it is, so maybe I should remake that video. But it's crazy how much of a difference it makes. It Oh, this is interesting. Okay, we've got a wreck up here. So, car slamming on its brakes. Needs to get around this cop. I'm gonna actually take over because it wasn't going far enough over. So we'll call that one intervention there. It was technically moving over, but just to be respectful for the police officer, I wanted to get over further. So again, something they can adjust there is just being more cognizant of emergency vehicles on the road and getting further over. It was over and it was gonna go past him, but just a little too close to be polite, I think. So I just went ahead and moved it, but. Not horrible, but definitely something they can improve on. All right, we're getting off the highway now, headed to the smoothie place. Got a real old Model S in front of us there. I do like that old body style though. This, it had a weird situation here the other day where it didn't pull up like that. Interesting. Okay. Yep, you're good. Oh, yeah. All right. One little stutter. 
one little stutter, but it punched it. But yeah, I had a weird incident there the other day where it just was really hesitant. That was a lot more forward. And again, it does allow you, even though it wants you to pay attention to the road, it will allow you to look left and right when the car is turning. So you can just make sure everything's clear. It won't bark at you for that. Well, I lost that camera, which is interesting. Usually this one's the one that dies first, but we're almost to our destination, so that's fine. Stop sign. Waited for that guy, went, perfect. And it can actually go straight here, but it never does. It always wants to turn left, so that's fine. That works too. So that was nice. Very well done for our main drive here. Let's go ahead and grab our smoothie and then we'll continue on. All right, smoothie secured. Let's run to Target real quick and then I'm gonna grab some dinner. So since it's not gonna take me in reverse, I'm gonna have to do that myself. All right, let's just go ahead and start it here. Nice Rivian right there, R1T, looks awesome. Really want to get my hands on one of those, make a video on it. Never been in one, only seen them on the road. Just no experience at all. I don't like that. Also, this isn't a stop sign. This is just our right of way. And so that car, we shouldn't have stopped for that. And that car, you know, I know why they turned because we stopped, but we should have just gone straight through that. So not great there. Let's see if we can make this light. It's typically a pretty short light. A little hesitant on the lane there, but it did it. Is it gonna go ahead? Yep, just swing me straight into the right lane, which is perfect. We're gonna hop here up onto the highway. Another Model 3 there. I'm telling you guys, there are Teslas all around me. Wow, look at that. Just a seamless zipper merge there. That was sweet. No weird stuttering, awkward anything, just beautiful. But yeah, there's Teslas everywhere around here. When I was making my Cybertruck video, I probably saw four Cybertrucks. I guess everyone's just getting them all at the same time now. Crazy. Now, to be fair, there is a supercharger right over here in the uh, Meyer parking lot here. So typically that's why. But even outside of that, I see them everywhere. This is a little bumpy here because this used to be the shoulder and they've been doing construction for what feels like eight years. So now they have to use the shoulder for an exit lane. So we have to do this. Now, technically speaking, you could just blow right through here because we have our own lane and you could turn right at this steak and shake or gas station that's right here but it doesn't want to do that it wants to take me into the lane so we're going to merge over and then it's going to take me to this little other intersection and then turn me right which is totally fine technically it is a more direct route to target which is where we're going it requires less turning so it's faster but i'd like to see a little bit better just adaptation or route planning but i know that's something that they're always working on got a little Stop sign here, and then we're at Target. Perfect. Hop out, grab a few things, and we'll be back. All right, we got what we needed at Target. Now I'm going to run and grab some food. And this is interesting because I'm going to go grab something at Panera, and it's right over here across the street, but you do have to go across four lanes of traffic. There's a middle median there. It's a straight shot, but you gotta kind of navigate getting across all those lanes of traffic. Now, it may not be that busy, and we might get lucky and just do a straight shot, but I wanna see what FSD will do there, because it is a tough intersection, usually all the time. Nice, perfect. I mean, it's going slow. Not that there's anything wrong with that. In this situation, we do have a car in front of us, but a uh, little bit slower. If speed limit says 35, I'm not sure if that's actually the speed limit through here. 
I think it's like 15. But So here is the four lanes of traffic. Now we're not taking a turn. Now this lane's completely clear, so we could pull out into the middle here. And is it gonna do that? Oh, I think we got lucky. We did, we got lucky. It's just wide open. Interesting. All right, well, I wanted to kind of test it a little more. Maybe we'll uh, we'll try that again at this other one that's less, you know, wide open and more busy. All right, got some food. Let's try another unprotected turn here, see how we do. We got a car coming across, nothing on the right, and it doesn't look like anything on the left that I can see. So it should be able to just go, but we're waiting on something. I don't know what. I mean, it, it did it. It was a little slow, but it did it. Again, I couldn't really see to the far left, so maybe it just needed to pull out a little more to be able to see, but it didn't seem like it, that was its intent. It just seemed like it was waiting, so who knows? But, you know, there we go. Another uh, Model Y right there. I've also seen so many of those new Hyundai Santa Fe's. They look so good. If you guys are interested, I actually reviewed the Santa Fe, uh, the new one, so. I made a secret features video and a full review. If you want to watch that, I'll have it linked down below. It's just random, but just if you're interested. All right, let's head one more place so we can try another unprotected left and an auto park test since it's been a minute and they've definitely improved auto park. I'll check that out. Yeah, you're good. You got plenty of space. You can go. Straight to the left lane. Awesome. You know, I've got some people that watch these FSD videos that really like to talk about FSD without ever actually using it. And they have a lot of criticisms of it without actually ever using it. And they think that just watching videos on it gives you all the information you need to know. And they tell you that it doesn't work well in these situations. They tell you that people are scared to use it, all these types of things, which really, in my experience, has not been the truth. I mean, you've seen, I've been driving now for probably close to 30 minutes in all kinds of different situations, highway, city streets, back roads, weaving in and out, parking lots, you name it. And we've had one intervention. And that intervention really was just for my personal taste. But as far as like critical disengagements all the time, I just, that's not my experience. All right, let's uh, get one more unprotected left and then we will do an auto park test and call it for this video. This version 12.4.3, it's really impressive. And uh, I've had nothing but good experiences so far. So I wanna make more of these, but here we go with another unprotected left. We're clear on the left and it's in the middle of the lane and gone. Nice, perfect. Again, not the most insane scenario. There weren't really any cars coming from the right, but still it handled it perfectly fine. All right, let's do a quick auto park test. We got kind of a tight parking space right here between these two cars. Just go ahead and hit this one and uh, see how quickly we do here. What I have noticed in the auto park difference is the switching between reverse and drive. There's less delay. So it doesn't like creep and then hit reverse and then wait for a long time. It just hits reverse and goes. And that is a big, big change as far as the overall speed of using auto park. But I mean, you can see how quick that was and it's perfectly even, we're dead center. So thanks so much for watching guys. Drop a like on the video if you loved it. Let me know down in the comments, what has your experience been with FSD 12.4.3? Is it similar to mine? Have you had some weird instances? Let's talk about it down in the comments. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be among the first to see every single new video the second I hit publish. We'll see you in the next one.